Should you buy this one? Should you not buy this one? I would say if you could find a new bottle for Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Abercrombie and Fitch Hot from 2013 now. Most people who really like Abercrombie or the old Abercrombies, they like the Mike Jeffries era. This one is a very interesting fragrance. I like that it's going for a really hot kind of smell. I like that Mike Jeffries made it. I'm just liking everything about it. This fragrance is available a little bit on eBay. I think it's a little bit too expensive in my opinion, but I think it is available for about 110 to 150 I believe right now online. I'm at the end of this video, I'll let you know if I think it is worth that price. This was like a, a used bottle. I forget how full it was when I originally got it. I did a review on this fragrance a couple years ago. I ended up not liking the review and I think I just unlisted the video and I was like, wow, I have no video of me talking about Abercrombie & Fitch hot because I do really like a lot of little things about this fragrance. So online, there's almost no notes on this one. The notes that they list are cucumber, coconut, amber, and musk. To be honest, the main thing that I get from this is cucumber. It's kind of got a little bit of a full quality, like an objecty kind of quality. It's hard for me to describe, but I really wouldn't say it's musk musk, like fierce musk, way different than that. You obviously really smell that cucumber. Just recently, I have been able to smell the coconut in the base. It kind of gives it a slight slight creamy quality, but overall it's just not a creamy scent. It's more of a transparent, hot style fragrance. Very few situations, I would say this is the best thing ever, you gotta get it. But a lot of situations, it's above average and very good for. The Office, okay. It's not too sexy or too flirty or too fruity. It's okay for The Office. Summer date, pretty good. Again, it's not the best thing in the world, but for a summer date, I think this smells good. I think it smells sexy. I think it would go good. School, very, very good. Although somebody going to school nowadays in 2021 isn't gonna go online and buy a discontinued fragrance from 2013 for a high price that they've never smelled. But if you were to do that, it would smell good at school. And then the gym, also really good. Not great, but good. I mean, it's light, it's inoffensive. It just is a very good gym style fragrance. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is a bit different. I really haven't smelled almost anything like this. I could kind of see that Abercrombie was trying to make something almost groundbreaking, something very different, something's very sexy and likable. And, and all the stuff we like from Abercrombie, it's just very different in a good way. It's transparent also in a good way. Most of the fragrances that I really like have a little bit of a transparent quality to them. I don't know what it is. Another pro of this one is that I do find it to be sexy. It has a sexy vibe to it. It's called hot. It just has a little bit of a sexiness to it. It's undeniable. And then the last pro of this one is that it is very, very inoffensive. It almost smells like it's not a cologne right away just because it's so subtle. It really would not offend anybody and I think it does smell very, very good. Let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons is that it has very, very light projection. Again, I got this one used and this is very, very old. This was stored in like the summer heat or it was stored incorrectly. It will um, lower this one drastically, but this one I gotta say was very, very light. You could smell it and it's a general lighter style scent. It's going for that, but it is very, very light. It's also not as groundbreaking as something like Fierce. You could kind of see like maybe they were trying to recreate the hit of Fierce because this is very sexy, very different, and that's exactly what Fierce was. It's like similar to Fierce, but it's also very, very different. And I would say head over heels, I love Fierce more than this. I think it is much more unique than this. Saying that it's not one of the top 10 most bought fragrances of all time or the top 20 most bought fragrances of all time isn't really taken away from it. But I just wanted to say that I did prefer the uniqueness of Fierce to this, although this is unique and it does smell good, no cap. And then the last con, not really taking anything away from it, is that it's not good for winter. Surprise, surprise. It's called hot. It's a hot weather fragrance. It is not good for winter. Should you buy this one? Should you not buy this one? I would say if you could find a new bottle for $80 to $90 online on eBay, you probably won't. They all kind of group up, and so they all kind of have this high price, and they all don't want to go lower. But if you were to find it for $80 to $90 brand new, I would say check it out. Again, you may buy that, and you may think this is only worth $40 or $50 or maybe even cheaper. I don't know. But I would say $80 $90 brand new 
is a pretty decent price for this fragrance. This is kind of for that classic Abercrombie fan who appreciates all the old stuff that they did. A smell rating eight to an 8.5, very, very solid. Really like this one. It's different, not the best thing I've ever smelled, but I really, really do like it. Likeability, 8.5 to a nine. If I had shown this to a few more people and got a few more reactions, this actually might've been higher up, but I would say 8.5 to a nine is good. It's probably its strongest suit is its likeability. And then the longevity and projection, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. But again, I feel like this wasn't stored correctly. I have no proof of that, but I just kind of get that feeling like it wasn't stored correctly. So I could see the normal one lasting a little bit longer although this fragrance is a transparent light sexy summer scent let me know what you think of abercrombie and fitch hot i would be very interested to see down below the next abercrombie and fitch fragrance i want to re-review is abercrombie and fitch fierce icon from i think about 2016 or 2015. the only real dark themed fragrance that abercrombie has done and i actually do think it's a solid fragrance i will be doing that one next stay tuned but anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i could not do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Abercrombie & Fitch Hot from 2013.